Hey, what's up, y'all? Dom Lou 7 here. Okay. I haven't vlogged about jazz in a couple of days, you know. Uh, I, I'll recall what win he won the other day because I missed his, his other win because I dozed off. I watched half of the episode of, 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 of Jeopardy with with, with James Hosehauer, okay, I miss fin I miss half a final Jeopardy, half a double Jeopardy, half a final Jeopardy. So, so I, I kind of dozed off when I woke up. James already won, okay. That was I, I think that was the day before yesterday, I do believe, okay. But today, today, uh, uh, uh James almost met his match again, okay. So he won this. He won his twenty six game. Okay, yeah, as some of you know, okay, so will he make it to 27? Will he win 27? Will he go over 2 million? Watch the show tomorrow, okay? You know something? Some of you was watching today, and some of you probably said that, oh, this is it for James, this is it for James, at least we're going to see him in a tournament of champions. I thought that too, okay? You know what I said? At first, I said, this is shaping up to be another good night for him. My second thought was, uh-oh, he met his match again. You know? Y'all remember Adam, L L L whatever his last name is? The guy Adam? He almost lost to Adam that time. I'm not talking about the recent Adam. I'm talking about the, the, the other Adam, the challenger Adam that he faced off against before he went on a two-week re realization. Okay? So, on that note, folks, uh, I, I wasn't sure if he was going to win a day, you know, but guess what? He won a day, you know. So, he met his match. So, let's see if he going to win tomorrow or met his match and be defeated tomorrow. Let's see if he going to win tomorrow, okay, and go over $2 million, okay? Yes, indeed, okay? I, I really enjoyed James, you know. I mean, some so some of you people is probably tired of him. But technically, I'm not, you know. Only if he would make it to... I don't know. Okay, so I can't predict anything, you know. So, uh, 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 this might be his last game one. Tomorrow, he might lose tomorrow. Monday, or Tuesday, or Wednesday, or something like that. But let's watch the show. Okay, so so anyway, all, all the other challenges is, is outnumbered. Okay, just like Alex Kaplog, Kaplog, whatever his last name was, you know, he was outnumbered. You know, so my word to that guy, Alex, you should have let Steve Grade one. You know, he was he he was confident. You know, but he should have let Steve Grade win. And, and and he would have got defeated by by uh, James Hosehauer. I guarantee you, if if he would have faced off against uh, uh, James in, in in regular games, he would have lost. Uh, uh Yeah. So anyway, we would have said two speakers battled each other. You know, James Hosehauer would have would would have told us the only one he met in person was of course Steve Gray that beat that that they defeated in in regular games. But technically, he not gonna say that. You know. He really not gonna say that, but Buzzy did enjoy his time on Jeopardy and the Tournament of Champions. The best thing he liked to do is meet all the champions. You know, the only one I'm talking to some people that that, that don't know, but the only one, the only champion that Buzzy ever met in person was all. No, no, no. I'm about to say Arthur Chu. I mean Andrew Powell that that, that he defeated in regular games. You know. Okay, but after he won, you know something? I don't know if I told y'all this or not. I said before the Tournament of Champions, what with, with Buzzy was on, I said Buzzy Coin was going was gonna to poke his tongue at Andrew Powell. <laughs> but technically, he couldn't poke his tongue at Andrew Powell because he wasn't battling uh, 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 at, at the time in the... In, in, in the uh, in the finals, you know. So technically, I guess he must have poked his tongue <laughs> on the computer screen, you know, because you know Buzzy Coin is a funny guy, you know. 
comedian, but uh, technically uh, Andrew Powell is funnier than, no, 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 I mean Austin Rogers I meant to see. I don't know why why, why I mentioned uh, 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 Andrew Powell. I mean, Austin Rogers is is, is 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 the comedian of Jeopardy, you know. Besides Buzzy Coin, you know. But the, the 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 only thing that Buzzy stole from Andrew was 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 his time to be in an All Star game, you know. But thank God that thank God Andrew Powell wasn't wasn't going for for his fifth win. And and uh, and Buzzy Coin took it away from him, you know. Now that that would have been a catastrophe, you know. Mm-hmm. But John John Schultz stole it from Elliot Yates, you know. Elliot Yates was going for his fifth win, you know. But John Schultz stole it from him. But but uh, uh, Elliot was lucky to be in a tournament of champions, you know. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. I sure love talking about these Jeopardy players, you know. Mm-hmm. Because game shows is my life, you know. Okay. Just like bringing up a, a Wheel of Fortune when when a contestant spin, spin the, the, the wheel all the way around like his price is right or whatever, you know. Okay. And talk about the... Well, I, I, I'll talk about the game shows uh, uh, on, uh, on another vlog, okay. So, by me saying this... And everything. All right. Congratulations, James. Okay. Will, will you win tomorrow? Will you lose tomorrow? Will, will you win Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? But you know what? What I realized, he he told us. Well, actually, he he just told Alex Trebek and Johnny Gilbert. He told all us, you know, who whoever was watching, he met Ken Jennings, you know. You know what? I guess if, if, if he face off against Ken Jennings, he, he ain't going to beat Ken Jennings. You know? But check this out, y'all. I know for a fact Brad Rutter is going to definitely defeat James Hosauer one day. You know? So, the way I think about it, y'all, we got to sign a petition to bring back 1 versus 100 and have Bob Saget as the host again, he either put it on NBC or CNBC. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So what y'all think? Should we bring back one versus one hundred? Let Let's hope and pray that 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 they can do it. Since since Bob Saget not on full of house anymore, you know. Let's see if he could get his job back on one versus one hundred. Okay. So. Raise your hand! Raise your hand if y'all want to see one versus one hundred with Bob Saget again. I got my hand up. Okay. So I I I, I, I want to ask y'all viewers: Did y'all ever like one versus one hundred? I knew I did. Okay. I, I used to run home every night, every Friday night to watch that. You know. Mm hmm. Well. Anyway, this 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 vlog's supposed to be about James Hosauer and and the Jeopardy champions, you know. So let's see if will he win his twenty seventh game tomorrow. Okay. All right. Thank y'all for watching. All right. Bye bye.